Yeah, hi, hi. hi. I welcome you to today's lesson. In our lesson today, we are going to focus on these. Okay. So now, <clears throat> what is this? Mostly, most of most of the electrical appliances, they have these fixed at the far end of the cable. Uh, so, <clears throat> and we normally plug these into the socket, an electrical circuit, uh, electrical socket, which is actually on the wall. Okay. So now, what are these? These are called plugs. Okay. So now, this plug has three legs. These three legs are the ones that we call the pins. So this one, by virtue of it having three pins, we call it a three-pin plug. Okay. So now, on the inside of this plug, there are some wires that are connected to each and every pin. Okay. So each pin is connected to a wire, which is actually loaded in this insulation. So this one is actually a cable, which consists of three wires, because this has three pins. So now, in our, fo in, in our today's lesson, our focus will be on the names of those three wires, the color coding, how you can identify them, and, so, and their names, their functions as well. So our objectives of today's lesson are that you should be able to name the three wires then you should be able to identify them by their color codings and then lastly you should be able to actually describe their functions what role do they play in an electrical circuit okay, so there are three wires in here okay, so now let me dissect this cable so that you check out the wires and I'm going to name them one by one I'm going to talk about their color codings and then their functions all right so i dissect this one okay so i'm gonna get this one i've actually removed the sheath and i've cut it somewhere so now these are the three wires with their color codings so we have this wire which is in the middle i hope you're able to see the color this is brown at times it's red the brown or red color is called the live wire. So now, what does this live wire do? It actually transports electrical energy to an electrical appliance. It's the one that supplies electrical current to an electrical appliance for it to work. So this is called the live wire. If it's naked and it's actually connected to an electrical supply, if you touch it, you're likely to be electrocuted. So don't you dare touch this wire if it's naked. If it has no plastic sheets, you will be electrocuted. It's a very dangerous wire. The other one is actually a neutral wire. This one completes the electrical circuit. This is called the neutral wire. It's either blue or black but in this case it's blue it can be black if it's black or it's sheathed with the black sheath or insulation you need to know it's actually a neutral wire it completes the electrical circuit though it carries you know electrical uh, alternating alternating current you can actually touch it when it's actually naked and you wouldn't be electrocuted. Why? Because it's earthed at the main supply, at the substation. But what I mean by saying it's earthed is that it's actually, it's, its voltage is equal to zero. It, the charge that it carries is actually directed to the earth. Hence, it can't electrocute you. The third wire is called the earth wire so the main reason why the earth wire is brought in is to earth the electrical circuit so if let's say we have an appliance and then the live wire happens to be frayed that is the the insulation happens to be damaged 
or it happens to be removed and then it touches the the metal the metallic uh, you know component of that electrical uh, appliance uh, then charges will be built on the body of that particular electrical appliance so now when the earth wire is actually installed it will actually discharge those electrical charges that will build on the body of an electrical appliance. It will move the electrons from the body of an electrical appliance to the earth because it's actually connected to the common point in the ground, the house. <clears throat> so these are the three wires. So the earth wire is either green or yellow or it has both colors. As you can see, this one it has both yellow and green. Let's do a recap. <laughs> in, 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 in the UK, they use the two pin pliers. Those that only have two legs, two pin. In, in, in countries like Zambia, they use the three pin plugs. In a three pin plug, there are three wires one of them is the live wire. What's, what's the function of the live wire? And what is the color coding of the live wire? It's red or brown. It supplies an electrical appliance with electric current. The blue or black wire is a neutron. It completes the electrical circuit. The green or yellow wire is the earth wire. It's installed for safety purposes. It actually discharges the charges that actually build up on the body of an electrical appliance. Let's take a look at the inside of the plug. That's what we got here. I hope you're able to see this. On the inside, I want you to take note of this component here. That one is called the fuse so normally that, that that is inserted for safety precautions as well when there is any short circuit there is actually a, a shoot in the electrical current that surges into an electrical appliance so now when that happens this fuse has a thin wire on the inside which burns up. When it burns up, it cuts the flow of electrical charges. Hence, it protects the electrical components from actually getting destroyed by high current or high voltage. So now check out the connections of the wires. So we have the brown wire, which is the live wire, which, which has the fuse installed on it. So what you need to take note of is the position of the fuse and the wire that is connected to the fuse. So the live wire is the one on which we happen to install the fuse. So you need to know where there's a fuse, there's the live wire. And then the wire which is on the other side is actually, check out on the left, this is actually the neutral wire and that is the earth wire. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you've gotten everything, but thank you so much for watching this video. If it has helped you in one way or the other, I urge you to go ahead and like the video, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to share the video with as many people as you can. Stay blessed.